as well as being able to upload and embed video files from your computer into your presentation within PowerPoint, it also allows you to insert videos from applications like YouTube and Vimeo. In this short tutorial, I'll demonstrate not only how to insert these videos from YouTube, but also how to change their appearance and their playback settings too. Now, first of all, let's take a look at how to actually bring the video in from YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across to YouTube just now and I've gone to my main two minute tech tutorials website. If you're new to this, I've got loads of videos on here and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you find the content useful. But what I'm going to do is locate one of these videos here. Now, it doesn't really matter which one to bring in, but seeing as this video is on PowerPoint, let's bring in one of these videos here. So here's a video on compressing files within PowerPoint to reduce their size. I'm just going to simply right click on the video title here and I'm going to use copy link address, which is basically going to copy the link to the video. So now what I'll do is I'll head back into my PowerPoint session here and I'm going to go to the insert tab at the very top and then right the way along to the right hand side to video. Now from this drop down menu, you'll see there are lots of different options here. I'm using a Mac, so this process is basically the same if you are a Windows user. It may just be that within this video menu, the options appear slightly different. But what we're looking for is this online film option at the very bottom. So when I click on that, it will then ask me to paste in the URL for my video, which we have already copied. Now, if you were bringing a video across from Vimeo, it would be exactly the same process. You would just have to copy the video URL from that particular site. But anyway, I'll paste this in here. So we now have the YouTube URL for that particular video, and I'll simply hit insert. And this will now insert this video into my presentation. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is that if you bring in a video from YouTube or Vimeo, it must be a public video. It cannot be unlisted or private. And because it's not fully embedding it into the presentation, you will require a live internet connection to play this video back. So if you're sending this presentation to somebody or playing it at a festival or an event, you'll need to have an internet connection to actually play the video. It also means if this video gets taken down or if it gets made private or unlisted, it will no longer work within your presentation. Now, this is different to uploading a video from your computer, for example, where that will be embedded into the actual PowerPoint presentation and you won't require an internet connection. And it doesn't matter if that video gets deleted from your computer afterwards because it's embedded into the presentation. So now that we have inserted our video, let's take a look at how we can change its appearance and playback settings. So the first thing is it works very much like an image, for example, if you bring it in, you can click and drag and reposition it. So I might want to position it here. I'll then maybe look to just resize it a little bit and pop it here. Now you'll notice when you click on this object at the top, you had a video format option. And this lets you make some corrections to your video. Now the first one you can do, you can actually go where it says poster frame. And in here, you'll notice that you can actually upload a file which allows you to essentially change the thumbnail that is displayed for your video. So it's right now it's pulling it through from YouTube, but if you want to customize that and bring in your own thumbnail, you can use this option at the top and you can always click reset, which will just basically reset once you have brought your own image file in to the default YouTube thumbnail. Other than that, you can also change things like the color or the corrections. And if you just want to test the video before maybe running a full presentation slideshow, then you can click on the play button here and it will basically allow you to play the video. So you'll see this is now playing that video from YouTube. You can also click on the play button to play it as well. Now, as well as that, there are some basic formatting options you can make use of. So if you wanted to perhaps use one of the styles up here, you can choose, for example, this little sort of Polaroid frame, we can pop around it and you can then click back on it and you can customize it as well. So if you want to add a border of a certain color, you'll see we can change that to a sort of darker border or we could have it another color like this. So there are some options that you can apply in here and you can also apply video effects. So you can put things like shadows underneath. So you see it's very subtle, but we've got a little shadow around this particular frame. As well as that though, you can also change the playback settings. So if I run this PowerPoint presentation here, I'm just gonna go into the slide before this one and then click slideshow. If I go across to this slide, you'll see that it doesn't automatically play this video. So I would need to come on, click on the play button and play it that way. If you want this to automatically play, however, 
what you can do is click on to the video to select it then choose the playback tab which appears only when you've actually clicked on and selected the video and you can change the start from in click sequence to automatically now what will happen is if I jump back to the previous slide and run the PowerPoint presentation using the slideshow option, when we get to that slide, it's going to automatically play this video. So you'll see the video plays. Now it doesn't work quite like if you bring a video in yourself because what you can normally do from the playback options with a video which you've uploaded from your computer is you can actually set it to play in the full screen so it will automatically play and go full screen and you've got some other options such as um, trimming and adding fades but because this is basically a video being streamed across from YouTube we're a little bit more restricted here but I think it is useful being able to automatically start the video when you get to this particular page. So there you have it that's how to insert videos from YouTube or Vimeo into your PowerPoint presentation. If you find this tutorial to be useful make sure you hit that like button feel free to subscribe to the channel to show your support and whilst you're here why not check out this other PowerPoint tutorial that I think you'll find interesting.